Okay, so how to quit smoking nicotine? Why should you listen to me? I quit. I smoked for 10 years. I smoked cigarettes. Then I moved on to vaping. I was like, this is so much better than cigarettes. It wasn't. And then I moved on to the jewel. And really, I think the jewel was the worst offender. Like this, this is the worst addiction because I was vaping the jewel like every two minutes, you know, like I would have one next to me. I would be constantly vaping that. And then I would have another one charged, ready to go. I would have like one jewel device always charged, other one I'm using. And like, if I didn't have one of these, it would affect my mood. I would be all like irritable and horrible. Like I would be like, oh my God, where's my jewel? It was, it was really bad, really bad addiction. And let me talk more about the jewel. So I first started when one of my friends like let me try the mint jewel flavor. And this story is going to get sad. Like I um, tried that. I was like, this is all right. And then I started, um, I got my own device and I got addicted to the cucumber flavor. And I kept smoking that. And like the, the mango one was pretty good. And I smoked the cucumber one so much, like I, like hundreds. And then they stopped making them. They stopped putting them in stores. And I had to like order them online. I had to like find a specific gas station that sold them. And it was horrible. It was like I needed my fix of that and I couldn't get it anywhere. And they just took it away. So then I started smoking the mint one. And I, I just got addicted to that instead. And there was like a menthol one and a mint one. And then they're like, we're going to take this away too. So now I'm left with this crappy like tobacco flavor. And this is why it's sad because I kept smoking that. Like I was so addicted to that. I was still doing it like every two minutes I was vaping this like crappy tobacco flavor. And then eventually I quit. So why do you smoke? So this is a really weird question. You might not really know what to say um like what's the reason why you smoke i can tell you why i smoked and it's really stupid for a girl there was a girl i liked and she smoked cigarettes so i thought maybe if i smoke she'll think i'm cool or something it was it was really stupid like i smoked for 10 years after that it's just like a huge mistake Really stupid idea. So, hard pill to swallow. There are no benefits to smoking nicotine. There are only negatives. We're going to go over those. This is not an investment. You don't get anything out of it. You are pouring your money and your health into something that's hurting you. A lot of smokers know this. I know I was a smoker and I have friends who smoke. If you see someone smoking, they'll be like, don't do this. Don't do this thing that I'm doing right now. They'll have a cigarette in their hand and they'll be like, don't do this. It's a, it's a horrible idea. So why do they do it if they don't want to? It's a physical addiction. It's hard. My uncle died from lung cancer from smoking cigarettes. Why? Because quitting is hard. This is going to be one of the hardest things you ever do. But it's so worth it. So why should you quit? Here are four benefits to quitting nicotine consumption. One, health. What do your lungs look like? I know this is a scary question, but like, are they black? How long have you been smoking? Do you not even want to think about that? If you 
smoke if you quit smoking, then your lungs will regenerate to full health. This means that if you quit right now, then your lungs will heal and it will be as if you've never smoked before. Yeah, it it will take a while and it's gradual, but start now so you can start healing your lungs. You don't always die from tobacco. Okay, I hate these commercials. I hate that they're like PETA. They take it to the extreme. I don't think that these advertisements are helpful, but you know those commercials where like you, there's this guy he has a robotic voice and he's singing like, you don't always die from tobacco. Sometimes you just lose a lung. Like, yeah, it's very extreme, but what can we learn from that? Like, um, smokers, who's, people who smoke for a very long time, they have this, like, raspy voice. And I'm not trying to be mean, but is do you want that? Like, no. You, you don't want to get a hole in your throat or, like, you could die. And it's not good. It's not good for your health. Money. How much money are you spending on nicotine products? I know that I was so addicted to Jewel Pods that I was buying around one pack of four pods every two days, which is a horrible cost. If I do the math, that's 15 days multiplied by around $20, maybe even more. That's like $300 a month. That's not worth it, especially when you aren't getting anything out of it. What could you do with that money? You could buy like an Xbox every month. You could buy like a Nintendo Switch and you're just like spending it on something that doesn't do anything. Like I I really regret all the money that I spent on something that just, it's like burning money. If you smoke cigarettes, okay, the smell. If you smoke cigarettes, those smell bad. You might say that you like the smell. You're wrong. You're making well, everyone around you nauseous. Think back to when you didn't smoke cigarettes. Did you ever have to sit next to someone, a smoker, in public, whether it's on a bus or at church or anywhere? It was probably a horrible experience. You were probably like, get me out of here. Like, I can't, like, I'm suffocating. Like, and they might have smoked like an hour ago. You know, they they might have smoked a long time ago, but still, you're, you're like suffocating. It's like taking your fresh air. So you smell like that all of the time. Yeah, you have friends who smoke that don't care, and you don't care. But you smell, and they smell. Time. Think about all of the time that you could get back if you quit smoking. Oh, but I like the escape and alone time that I get when I go outside and smoke a cigarette. No, you don't. I smoked. I have smoker friends. I know where you're coming from. But really, you're just justifying what you're doing. If you like fresh air, then go outside and get fresh air. You don't need a cigarette to do that. You you can do anything you want if you quit. You can go for a walk. You can go sit on your balcony. You can, you can do any of these things. You don't need a cigarette to do them. The difference is that you won't be physically depending on anything. What if you didn't need to take breaks anymore? How much more could you get done? What if you didn't have these gaps in time that stall you from whatever you're doing? Think about it, like you're watching a movie or you're doing work, you're doing anything that you're doing and you're like, oh, I need to take a cigarette break. I need to go outside and do something. You're stalling what you're doing. You're like changing your mind. Maybe you're thinking like you're reflecting on what you're doing, but you might like change your mind. You might stop what you're doing. You, you might like do something else. It might just like stall what you're doing. So how much more could you get done if you never had to take those breaks, if you could just keep doing what you were doing and not have that at all? So how do you quit? Make the decision right now that you're never going to smoke again. 
download this app. It's called I Am Sober. You can find it on the App Store on your phone. This will keep track of the last time you smoked. If you give in and smoke, that's okay. I did too. Reset your progress and try again. This will be hard. This will be extremely hard. It's worth it. Don't give in. This is a mental battle. I'm telling you every two minutes that went by, I would think, please, can I just take one drag? Just one drag. What's the worst thing that could happen? Don't do it. You need to say, no, it's not worth it. Think about the benefits. Two minutes later, I would have the same thoughts again. Please, just one drag. No, it's not worth it. And this was constant the whole day. Constantly, when you're fighting this addiction, it's like a constant battle. Um, Every two minutes, I need it. I need it so bad. Like, please, can I just, just once, like, I need it so bad. And you need to say no. And then it'll come back. And then you say no. And you keep, keep saying no. You need someone. You need someone who will help you. Because here's what will happen. You will look for outside external validation. You will look for any reason to give in. After a while, you might give in and you might ask someone, please, can I just take one drag? It makes it makes no sense. Why would you ask that? They have no power over you. It's your own willpower. But you are looking for some sort of external validation. You are looking for someone to say, like, can I do this? Or like, can you, um, should I smoke or should I just not do it? You're looking for someone to tell you like, just smoke or don't do it. So if you don't have anyone that can help you, then message me on Twitter and I will say, no, don't do it. It's not worth it. So they will say one of these two things. When you go to someone asking, they will say one of two things. Yeah, just go ahead, have one. Why not? It's not a big deal. Just just have one. It's you're not like it's no big deal. No. This is wrong. If you just have one, then you gave up. You lost all of your progress. You have to restart from the beginning. They need to say to you No, it's not worth it because it's not. And you will return to this person because you are looking for that external validation. You need someone who is going to tell you no. Don't do it. It's not worth it. Think about the benefits. Think about the positives. Think about what you are getting out of this. That's it. That's, That's all you need. You need to think like, I am... I am gaining so much, my health, my money, my time, everything. Give me one month. You can do one month. You can do this. If you can quit nicotine for one month, then you're done. It's over. That's it. Good luck. See ya.